This is Chris Whalen, CPA, and welcome to the Street Level Business Podcast. First, if you already have a question for me, please pause the podcast and call me on 732-673-0510. My CPA firm specializes in business and income tax matters for businesses and families and offers the full array of services you would expect from a full-service CPA firm. As the name implies, This podcast offers advice for those of us working and living at the street level. If you look at your screen, you will see my website and phone number, both great ways to reach me. Today's topic is, are you a partner or stockholder in a company? Are you given full copies of that company's tax returns at year end? Many of my clients are the main partner of their partnerships or their corporations, Most of my clients are closely held just by a few people. If that is your situation, then you most certainly already get a copy of the year-end tax returns for your company to review. This memo is for a different kind of partner and corporate owner. It is for people who own part of a corporation or partnership, but they don't control the filing of the tax return. This could mean a lawyer in a large firm, a doctor in a large medical group, or an investment advisor, all of whom are equity partners or owners. These owners don't control the daily accounting and usually do not interface at all with the company's CPA. My advice here does not necessarily apply to limited partners who do not have an active role in the day-to-day operations, but even limited partners should demand a full copy of any tax return they are reported within. I have seen a rash of situations in the past two years where general partners or stockholders of corporations who are actively working in and running their companies are not given copies of the tax returns of the companies which they own, and those returns are filed without their permission. This is unconscionable to me, and it's something that has to be stopped. Are you only given a Form K-1 at the end of the year and nothing else? I want you to demand that for all the years where you appeared as a general partner or stockholder, you are given full copies of those tax returns. You might be saying, of course those returns will be provided to me, but I wouldn't assume that. I'm interested to see if your first request is denied. I think you'll be surprised that it may not be given to you so readily. If you are about to sign an operating or stockholder agreement or renew an existing one, I want to stress that you include the following wording, of course, written out in the proper legalese by your attorney. Number one, within any operating agreement you sign for an LLC or a stockholder agreement for a corporation, be sure it is clearly stated that you will be given a full copy of the tax returns for your review and that those returns cannot be filed without your written authority. Number two, Within any operating agreement you sign for an LLC or a stockholder agreement for a corporation, be sure it is clearly stated that you and your independent CPA will be given full access to all the company's books and records upon request. Number three, you should also demand that you see the underlying supporting accounting records that went into creating those returns. These are usually procured from the accountant or CPA preparer. Number four, Have all of these things independently reviewed by me to make sure I am comfortable with them on your behalf. This may seem like overkill, but it is your company, regardless of the amount of your equity position. You could be held responsible for the financial and income tax mistakes of those signing your company's returns, so you deserve to have oversight over those returns. At least you deserve to make a thorough review of them and the underlying documents used to prepare them before they are filed. I am amazed to see how many owners of companies do not properly safeguard their interest with the steps I have described here. Questions or concerns? Call me on 732-673-0510. This brings us to the end of this edition of the Street Level Business Podcast. Thanks for listening. I hope you found this podcast informative. Remember, The moment you have a business or tax question is the moment you should be calling me. Have a great day.